Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today with our October Quilting Life Planner and Workbook video. I can hardly believe that we're in the last quarter of the, quarter of the year, but here we are. And today's video, I've got a few things to share with you from some readers. I'm going to answer a listener question and also share with you uh, some great options as we have the 2023 just around the corner and also give you some information on Quilting Life Seasons. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I thought I, I just have one question from last month. I thought I'll just go ahead and start and answer that first. Uh, it's from Elizabeth and she says, I have fabric that I purchased for certain patterns because I saw it on a video. How do you recommend I organize the patterns and fabric so I can keep track of which pattern goes with what fabric? Thank you in advance for any guidance. Uh, love your videos and tips. And what I generally do in that situation is I actually store them together. So, and then I would have in my Quilting Life Planner on my list of projects, I would put that the, the pattern is stored with the fabric. And then I know when I get ready to work on that project that I, where to find everything. And sometimes, you know, if the fabric isn't in a typical place either, where you have that fabric listed on your works in progress or whether it's on your bucket list, whichever one of those places, I would just put where the fabric and the pattern are and keep them together until you work on it. And, you know, if you decide at some point that you want to use either the pattern or the fabric for something else, it's not a problem to switch that up. So that was a very good question. I also wanted to share a listener viewer suggestion that came in from Shelly in Littleton, Colorado. And she has the planner and she decided to take her planner out of the binding. Uh, several people have mentioned that in the comments and also through email. And so she decided to put it in a, instead of putting it in a three ring binder, as was mentioned, she wanted to put it in a disc binder. And those are a special binding system that you can find in a lot of different places. I'll give you a, a link to where she got hers and then also some other options. But what she did, and we'll actually pop up a picture, I think right now, of what the front looks like because it has a plastic cover on top of her planner and then also what the disc binding looks. Um, and I'll just read what she said while we have those pictures up. She said, the pages are protected and I can also add sheets of paper to extend out any writing space available in the planner. So far it's working well for me. I have a hole punch specifically for this type of binding. So I also plan to add in any patterns that I tackle, that I plan to tackle during the year along with copies of fabric snippets I plan to use on those patterns. I look forward to using this for the coming year and definitely will appreciate having an organized inventory of projects and quilting stuff. Uh, so her idea is terrific because since this is undated, if you want to get a new one for next year or you just want to continue using the pages that you have, you can use her idea or the idea to put it in a three ring binder and just continue using those pages that you already have so that you don't have to rewrite them. But I do, we are not going to do a new edition for 2023, but this is still available for you to get a new one or to jump in and start if you haven't used one yet. This month is, is really short, but we're going to jump in. I'll do a down shot and just go over uh, this month and a little sneak preview of some other things. Okay, just a couple notes before we get started about the October pages. October, uh, I like to do the, the Sunday start. So for me, I did my, the first over here on Saturday. And then what I did was I put the 30th back on that Sunday and the 31st on the Monday. So, and that way I didn't have to draw a diagonal line and share any dates. This month you're going to find it is really just two pages for the month, but these are pages that take a, a little bit of thinking. Sewing for charity and gifts to make. And so really now is the time that you sh should 
you know, if you've started putting some ideas in here, that's great. But if not, really try to narrow down the, the gifts that you want to make for people for this holiday season coming up and get all of those notes in here. And I always feel like it's a good time to think about charity sewing as well. And so any charity sewing that you want to do, uh, for me, I'm actually going to be donating another group of quilts soon. So I, I feel like as I don't need them anymore for samples or displays or lectures, I try to donate a, a portion of those. So gifts to make. Next month is all about heritage and kind of writing your quilting journey. So if, I thought that would be good for November. We'll be doing that next month. And then December is all on the home systems and organization. But I just wanted to remind you about things that are at the back of the book because you can be working on those now or finishing up any other lists or organization parts of the planner that you haven't been able to fully get to earlier in the year. But at the end of the book, I just wanted to share helpful resources. So you've got some of my favorite notions here that I've listed. And then this page is just for you to record top tips or ideas that you've had while you've been using the planner. So th this is great with, since this is a shorter, a shorter couple of pages for this month, you could maybe work on that. Uh, there's also a reading list of planning resources and quilting resources that you can look at back here. And there is also a book must have or a list of things that you want to read. And if you don't want to use this for books or you can use, it is two pages, you can use part of it for books, part of it for notions or patterns or anything else that you need extra space for. Okay, so I do want to let you know also about Quilting Life Seasons. And I decided to do this Quilting Life Seasons since we weren't going to have a new edition of the planner for 2023. I thought this would be a really great compliment. And I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna three hole punch it and put it in a notebook or if I'm gonna look for one of those disc binding systems like I looked at this morning. For right now, I'm probably just gonna three hole punch it, but I can print out another copy if I decide to get one of those systems. But what it is, it's just 15 pages of things to kind of go along with your planner. And uh, um, especially next year, I will have the winter version ready in late November. And I'll continue to do them quarterly. So you'll have, what they have is they have some recipes, they have some thoughts about what you want to do for the season, your goals, your bucket list. And then they do have dated calendar pages that you'll be able to use. Because I thought specifically, if you were going to continue using the same Quilting Life planner for next year, you might want to have some planner pages. And on each page, they have ideas for the month that you can do. There's a place to record your Thanksgiving menu, get that all planned out quarterly quilting goals, organization goals, home tasks, just some cute things, a place to record your favorite quick fall meals so that you have a list of things ready to go as the schedule is busy, and just a couple of other things. And I have this in my Etsy shop. It's PDF download only. So when you purchase it, you download it and print it yourself. It's not something that I mail to you. But I thought this would be really helpful to go along through the seasons and to go in conjunction with the planner or even if you don't have the planner, you would be able to use this to help with your organizing. Okay, so that's it for our October Quilting Life Planner and Workbook video. I hope you've gotten some good ideas and that you enjoy kind of working through the the little tasks for this month. This is a great time to get organized for the rest of the year and I hope you will enjoy working on those and perhaps even looking at the Quilting Likes Life Seasons. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.